What is the most nostalgic toy for you as a kid that still to this day, when you see it, you're like, oh. Yeah. There was this. All right, we are here for another Sunday, and this is a special edition, mostly because we're in Canada, yeah. which means Dan Housen has to be nice, he has to forgive me for the beef we had previously, and we are going to go toy hunting. That's true, look at who's behind me. The jokester. The jokester? The jokester, he tells jokes. What's his, what's his most famous joke? Uh, what is the deal with airline peanuts? <laughs> he has a TV show on NBC, Tuesday nights, Thursday nights sometimes. 8 p.m. 7 central. I don't think that's Jerry Seinfeld standing behind you. He's got the same haircut and everything. Oh. He's tall, he's lanky. That's him. Okay. So we are going to Jerry Seinfeld's toy store called Gotham Central. Yeah. It is in Mississauga, Ontario. It's a stone's throw away from my hometown, Hamilton, Ontario, which I've covered multiple stores from. I have videoed here before many, many, many moons ago. Have you ever been here, Dan? Has I you? have not. It looks nice though, it looks huge. Yes. And there's a wonderful graffiti on the wall. There is wonderful graffiti. And do you know Brody King has also been here already? Yeah, because he texted us about it. Yeah, I was actually kind of upset because I, I haven't had a chance to come here since moving to America. So I'm pumped for Dan Housen to see Gotham Central. I'm excited for myself to toy hunt. And later in the vlog, we have a very special guest coming to chat with us about nerd culture, toys, pop culture, comic books. Never forget, myself and Dan Housen are on Whatnot. They bring you every single Sunday toy hunt. Click the link in the description, download the app, save $10 on your first purchase, or go to whatnot.com slash invite slash love that Dan Housen. Yes. Is that correct? Yeah, it's correct. Yeah, I nailed it. Got One it. take. All right, is there anything you're looking for in here? Uh, I don't even know what they have. Maybe if they have old Storm collectibles. Oh, some collectibles here. would be sweet. All right. I know we've been getting the pricey habit of uh, CGC comics. Yeah, I don't like hanging out with you and Brody anymore. Oh, uh, we just encourage each other to blow our money. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But the people like to watch it. So let's see what we can find in this awesome shop. Yes. Like storm collectibles oh, down man. here. No Mortal Kombat. <laughs> All right. What are All your right. thoughts so far? This store is huge. <laughs> yeah, it is huge, Giant. right? She's trying to find things. I'm sorry, I have never seen this before. Oh yes, it's very good. It's a nice little army builder. Dude, this is so cool. Yeah. It's not in scale no, with what so we collect, I but. I told them. You remember at Toys R Us, they got the giant John Cena and Batman. And oh yes, 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 I yes. I said, you should do a Galactus, these brands, classic style, but one of those, because it'd be cheap. That's a good idea. Maybe $100 at most. At most. And everyone would buy it. I feel like the, the, the large scale John Cena figures are what, 30, 40 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, you guys got to do that. They could charge one hundred dollars easily, one fifty. Yeah, look at—he's making you money. Just yes. listen to Dan Housen. Hire me for marketing. 
Yeah, and then he'll hire me because yes. I'm his friend. It's oh. true. Yeah. We'll all have jobs. <laughs> all of us. Yeah, this place is cool as hell. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. I don't have that much time. Oh, God. Desert storms happening everywhere. I gotta get back into the trenches. Do me a favor, mention me in the comments because when you do, that keeps me alive and I don't want to die. I want to be forever etched into your memory. So please, keep me alive, please. I need this. I need this. They have Ozzy Osbourne figures. So this toy, Sharon. this new- What? Sharon! That's oh, what he says. Yes. Sharon! This, this toy line, best action, yeah. is kind of killing it. And they, they keep shocking me. Look, they have Kiss. They have gremlins. Oh, what, Roger? Look at these. These are so Roger cool. Rabbits. I don't know if it's Scrooge McDuck. You like him? You like him? I do like Scrooge McDuck. He's a good time. Good Wait, time. Who's behind Mickey? Goofy. Hey, you see this? What are these? Oh, uh, that is an Eagle Moss, I believe. Ah, okay. Which uh, I guess they closed down. Yeah, I feel like they're always on weird websites. Yes. And you could get them for free because someone's always trying to give them to you for free for some reason. <laughs> well, point hey, it in my direction. Buy these things for free. You get seven of them, you get 18 free. <laughs> and you sign up. You remember those old little sheets? Oh, where you yes. Take the VHSs yes, and you yes, put them yes. In a booklet? Those are always on those type of sites. Yeah, yeah. You see these? Oh, yeah. I love you those. Own these? Those are badass. You do? I love them. You own them. I have a Poison Ivy. Uh, okay, that's your favorite? Oh, uh, what's my daughter's middle name, Ivy? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What's your address? Uh, no, 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 no. You give off your personal information, you give off names, now you give off your address. No, you no, 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 social no, no, no. I said numbers. her middle name. Give off your height. 6'2". There we go, that's a start. Yeah. Social security number. Uh, no, nice try though. American and Canadian. Well, it's, uh, it's different here. Social security. And social insurance? I don't know. So I'm just telling you because then we can steal your identity and I can spend your money. Oh, thanks for the I'll warning. I'll buy you a gift. Dude, have you seen these yet? The uh, toad? The, this oh, is yes. brand new, is it not? Yes, I have it. You have this? Yes. I just pre-order all of the Marvel Legends at this point. Every one? Besides the movie ones. Oh yeah, that's right. I told them that too. What else are they coming out with? This is awesome. Uh, I don't know because they're switching the packaging. Again? Well, I'm saying they're turning it new. Oh yeah, the yeah yeah. Which yeah. will not work for these. No, because there's plastic. The, the point of these is to look like this. Yes. Same this, thing with this. Yes. So who's to say what's going to happen with those? That's true. You know what I will say though, for the hundredth time, this ain't it. Sorry. No, I don't like it either. Yep, I hate it. I understand it, but there must be another way. There has to be another way. Put a tiny little screen. What, for their face? Yes. Uh, what is it? Power Town. Wrestling collectibles. Are yes, yes, that. yes. And those look good. Yeah, that's true. They look like this, but then they have a tiny window right here for their face. That's true. Then you could at least see if their eyeballs are nice. There's options. They're not taking any of them. Zero. print of this book that cost a million dollars now oh so remember i was holding it the other day the point oh five. that's right that's right that's right there's a photo of you thousand dollars this is a nice reprint that cost who knows how much but not that much oh this one too nice and look superman oh. are based on superman too. that's cool not a fan of superman not tickled. i like the cartoon version yeah. The animated series. I was, I was gonna ask, he doesn't tickle what? My fancy. Oh, okay, okay. Fancy. Don't forget, click the link in the description.
download the WhatNot app to get $10 for free on me or go to auctionego.com. So before I ask the question, yeah. I wanted to thank you for Fat Man on Batman. So for professional wrestling, we drive 10, 12, 13 hours one way. So you kept us entertained. It's nice to have something in the ears. Heck yeah. Thank you. And something very relatable too. That's cool. So too. I appreciate it. Uh, so if I could ask one question for my toy hunt viewers. Fire away. What is the most nostalgic toy for you as a kid that still to this day, when you see it, you're like, oh. There was this McDonald's play set that who put out? It wasn't Fisher Price because it wasn't the old round Fisher Price figures, but it may have been Fisher Price, but it wasn't the round ones. They did square characters uh, of McDonald's employees, and then there's some, some customers. You put the character, the figure, in in his block shape, in a, a little square behind the counter, and if you slid it, it slid a McDonald's meal out on the counter and stuff. So I had that when I was a kid. I was a big fan of fast food, I guess. And my parents were like, he would like to play with this. Um, but there was a figure of a McDonald's employee um, that I carry, you know, like some kids carry yeah. a teddy bear. This was the thing that I wouldn't go any place without. And I called him my, my little man. And he had broken at one point so you could take his head off of his body. And I used to pretend that he was the invisible man because you could take off like the, the head. head and so that whenever like I see that toy, and I rarely see it anymore, like in the real world. Do you course, have one now? I did get one. Hell yeah! I went and found one online, and it was like in pristine condition. And I was like, I can't pass this up, man. This like gave me so much joy. So it sits on my shelf in my office with a bunch of detritus from my young life. I love that. That's why we do the videos every week, is the nostalgia. That I love the nostalgic toys, it's wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Yes. What the hell? What are you doing? Here. Oh. If you watch every video, you know what I'm gonna ask you to do. Oh, I, I haven't seen every video. Oh, uh, yeah, backtracking already, <laughs> huh? Well, could you tell everyone to like, subscribe, and comment? Like, subscribe, and comment, man. Ethan Hayden, Ethan Page. He's great. Okay, man, this is your moment. This is I'm my moment. You. You're you're on right now. Look how I look. Do you like my hat? I do. My my heterosexual life mate, also my cousin, gave it to me for my birthday. Nice. We're here to see Kevin Smith, and I run into one of my favorite pro wrestlers, Ethan Page. Yeah. What'd you tell me when you walked in, though? That my son gave you a knife edge chop at Hamilton Comic Con. That's right. Three years old. Three years old. So three how old is he now? That was probably three years ago. Oh, that was a year ago. He's four. Now. Last year? Last year, buddy. No chance. I wasn't at Hamilton Comic Con last year. Yeah, buddy. Wasn't no, not Hamilton, Mississauga. Damn. Yeah, okay. Mississauga. Oh, that. Okay. Now, yeah. I ha that was in my vlog. What? Give you a knife edge shot. Knife edge shot. Oh. 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 oh
Got him. Yeah, it was in your box. Yeah. I'm on the vlog twice. Listen, a lot of kids trapped me. That's why I was a little confused. I'm but getting, hey, since you said famous. Mississauga, now I understand. I'm going to be famous. Well, I don't know if YouTube totally works famous. like that. Oh, yes, 100%. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> What's going on, brother? Yes. And I just wanted to recommend my good friend Egon, one of your films. He's got a wonderful family. He has this wonderful family film called Walrus. And Justin Long dresses like this beautiful walrus. Yes. It's a great comedy. It is. It's for yes, kids. It's good for children. Yes. It's hilarious. So I it's, recommend you take a family night out, get some popcorn, get the kids, and watch it. It's, uh, it's, it is, Tusk is akin to Frozen. Yes. Oh, they sing songs, I think. Too. They do. There is some singing. At the end, he sings. Absolutely. In the costume, I yes, think. Yes, there's some singing. It's so a wonderful my, time for all. My daughter can definitely watch this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How old? She twenty eight. Turning five. Oh, you might want to wait a year or two. A year or two. <laughs> okay, perfect. I thought it was perfectly wonderful. What's up, everybody? I needed to take a break from this week's vlog to give you a huge update. One, on the November sale coming to an end. Right now on PlayedByJulian.com, you can get 20% off the entire store thanks to Fat Food Fest 1.5. If you head to playbyjulian.com right now and use code FFF savings, you get 20% off the entire store, not just Fat Food Fest merchandise, the entire store. So if in 2022 you've wanted to get something from playbyjulian.com, now's your chance. 20% off the entire store. Support the weekly vlog, grab the merchandise at playbyjulian.com. But for the fans, I wanted to tell you guys the next Whatnot stream is going to be on December 10th. And I'm not alone. Ortiz will be joining All Ego Ethan Page in Indianapolis for a live event. If you want to be there live, here's the information. And you can meet All Ego Ethan Page. But more importantly, if you have the Whatnot app installed on your phone and you have a Whatnot account, you can meet Ortiz for free. Then at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, both of us will be going live, auctioning off some amazing signed goods. And yes, I'm going to bring some Ortiz Jazzwares figures. And we're going to get those bad boys signed live on Whatnot for the fans across the globe. So get the app. Go to auctionego.com and prepare for December 10th. Here's the information one more time. If you want to be there live, I'd love to meet you and you can get on the vlog. I'll see you guys December 10th. And now back to Kevin Smith. So if you want to get a new, the, what came out this week, a new toys? Yeah. Star Wars? So Everything. this came out this week. Yeah, all the way down. This is we just put one of each for our toy yeah. video because we do a YouTube. Am I live? Oh, do you care? You're not live. Only three million oh, okay. people watching you right now. Who's live? No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> hey, you guys do go live though, right? What's your we whatnot? Do. Whatnot Gotham Central CC. There you go. On whatnot. I already bullied everyone that watches this into downloading the app, so they've already got ten dollars for free. So go Here's spend money. it on this. It's yeah, it's my money. it's my ten dollars. Go spend yeah. it on their whatnot. I spent his ten bucks. Well spent. Man. Oh, that thank well you. Spent money. Thank you. A lot of Tim Hortons coffee. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't buy nothing on my whatnot stream. I'll buy you. I'll support. Go support this guy. <laughs> what's your What's your uh, handle? Oh, they know. It's all ego. Ethan Page. Go all check ego. it out. But Gotham Central CC. in Ontario. Yes. This is my favorite shop. I'm from Hamilton, so I have like a bias to the small shops in Hamilton. But if I ever needed to find something, I made the trip out here. Hey, do yourself a favor, not us. Like, subscribe, comment every freaking week, okay? What made you decide to work with your daughter? So, I'm doing a comic book coming out. The characters are going to be based on my kids. Oh, that's smart. Ironically, that's good. my daughter's middle name is Ivy. I know your daughter's name as well. So Harley, Harley yeah. and Ivy. Yeah. So the the movies you've done with her, like, what was the thought process? Um, you know, when I when she was little, we used to play all the time, make pretend and stuff like that. Uh, hide and go seek and I remember there was this one day we were playing hide and go seek and it was in the my bedroom and you know it was only like eight places to hide yeah. and we were on the 20th round of hide and go seek and you know she was like find me I was like Harley like haven't we had enough of hide and go seek let's watch TV and I remember she looked like disappointed and stuff but like you know I was like I ain't playing hide and seek again and then I blinked and kid was you know beyond play age she was a teenager she wasn't there was no more hide and seek and I always felt like oh man that's that real cats in the cradle cat Stevens kind of moment 
Like, we're not, he didn't sing that, Cats in the Cradle. Who sang that? Joe, Jim Croce, maybe? Elton John. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the movie's not called War, it's called Toscan. It's not Elton John. I don't there know. Lots of misinformation. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but the, uh, yeah, man, I felt like, oh, crap, I passed up on, like, I should have just kept playing until one of us passed out, like, because now I'll never get to play with her again. And then I figured out if I make movies with a kid, that's the second bite of the apple. That's the same difference, make and pretend and stuff. Yeah. So it kind of makes up for that last game of hide and seek that I that I didn't play. So that makes sense. That is amazing. Um, I happily ended on that. It's super heartwarming. And thank you, like as a fan, again, for entertaining us and oh continuing to. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Such a pleasure. Thank, thank you. Wonderful so much. to meet you. Epic, excellent to meet you, too. <laughs> Come on, just let me eat. I already gave you two of these stupid things. Like, comment, subscribe. There you go. All right, you ready to rock? Yes. Yeah, hopefully this music doesn't get us kicked off YouTube. But that's okay. It's another Sunday, and we're wrapped here at Gotham Central in Mississauga. Myself and Dan Housen, not leaving empty-handed. Nope. Nah. My t-shirts fell, but that's okay. The statue didn't. I'm walking home with this awesome Frank Miller statue going to be added to the collection, and I can't wait. And I drove to Canada, so the shipping right. issues are not a problem. Do you have more stuff? No, just that. Oh, okay. I got some comic books. Reprints. Ooh. Because this one costs too much. It's New York Comic Con. Yes. Almost a million dollars. Yes. And this one. Superman. I did get a Superman. Okay. It looks nice. The Dracula. And another Dracula. Then I got some candy. The review I was in with Dan, I was in on Patreon. Oh, you do reviews of candies? Yeah, patreon.com slash love that Dan. Go check out his Patreon. And never forget, every single Sunday is brought to you by Whatnot. The link is in our description. Dan Housen and myself are on there every single month. Check it out. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and comment.